back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naomi Boyer. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my favorite undergarments. This is probably my number one most requested video. Um, I've kind of been putting it off just because, I don't know, I was feeling like it's crazy to me that that is one of my most requested videos, but I also feel like I didn't think you guys would want a video like this because I thought it would be boring. But since I gave it enough time and since the requests still keep coming in, here we are. So let's begin. All right, so we are going to start talking bras. Um, I think I'll do underwear towards the end, which there's not much to share there, um, but still I think it's really important. Um, not really going in any particular order. I will try to, um, just to have some kind of order, I guess. Um, but I do want to start with strapless bras because I wear a lot of things like this. I purposely wore this top and the strapless bra that I absolutely love um, under here, which you can't even see that I'm wearing anything, but I like to wear bras. Um, I just like to feel secure. I like to know that there's you know, something holding it up. So I am wearing a bra and I always, always, always do. No matter what the cut is, the only time I wouldn't is if it's backless. So the bra I have on, I have the one I have on and I also have a new pair because it still has the tags on. So this one is Wacol. Um, I have talked about Wacol. I've worked with Wacol. I think they could be one of the best, one of my favorites at least. Now the reason why I like a strapless bra like this is because it's pretty much all you need. So it works really well with v-necks, really really low necks like I have right here. And this part is low enough that it's not going to show. So this is literally a plunging neckline and this bra will work with any type of neckline. Um, so this one is called The Amazing Assets. It's a push-up bra. Um, so for me, I like a push-up. I know not everyone needs that. I like that. Um, so a lot of the bras I'm going to kind of recommend have push-up. So if you don't want that, I would still look into the brand. So if you're not liking these amazing assets bras, which I don't know, I think everyone could use a good push-up unless you're like, you know, well endowed in that area. So this is what the inside of the bra looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but that's how much of a push-up there is. And then as you can see, this one's nice because it comes with like extra straps if you wanted to wear it more like a normal bra. So that's kind of the nice thing about this. Um, you can buy all the colors and you can wear it both ways. And honestly, just go for nudes. Nude everything. Nude underwear, nude bras. I don't think you need a black bra, you don't need a pink bra, you don't need a neon green bra. Like, buy nude for everything. Or at least closest to your skin color. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys the bra under a different t-shirt. So I think this was the shirt that a lot of people asked. Like, what kind of bra are you wearing? So this is a one shoulder right here and it even goes pretty low on the sides but um, as you can see you can't even see the bra so this is still the Wacol Amazing Assets bra so because this is like a white ribbed material or cotton material um, top you do kind of see an outline of the bra but if I turn to the side right here um, you're not seeing any like indents anything sticking out from the bra it's very seamless very smooth this is what the back looks like um, but yeah I love this bra so much so this is the bra that I wear with a lot of my like racer back type halter type necklines any of the craziest necklines this bra is like so great all right next up I wanted to recommend this Calvin Klein bra I've used this Calvin Klein bra for years um, so the middle part right here is not as low so this one is just good for like your everyday if you wear a lot of tanks um, if you don't care for the middle part to be really low like the previous one I showed you um, but this one's also a little bit less push-up um, so this is what it looks like right here. It's just a really really good fit and really really comfortable And also they have like good nude colors and again, it's very smoothing very minimal So this one is another really good strapless one right here That's not as like crazy as the first one if you're looking for something more basic So again, that's the Calvin Klein under this top. Um, it's not as seamless as the first one I feel like it just um, doesn't fit me as well um, it kind of digs in 
a little bit so this is something I would wear more for like a t-shirt if you just want to wear a strapless bra if you have issues with your shoulders with straps sticking into your shoulders which sometimes I do and both of these bras also have really really good like stickiness on the, sh on the back straps um, so on me they are very secure they don't fall all right, next up, I wanted to share a strapless bra by Soma. So this is if you're looking for like a lot of padding and a lot of push-up. So this is what the inside looks like right here. Um, so there is quite a bit of padding. This is almost like two cup sizes. Um, so I am not like, I don't have a big chest. So for me, when I wear this, it's just to add some more. Um, but again, you don't have to. This is just like an option depending on what you're looking for. I like to have options depending on what I'm wearing. But this one's still very comfortable. It's not as comfortable as the first two just because it has all of that going on. But the back also has that like sticky right here. So it holds up really, really well. Um, even with all this like padding going on. And Soma is just another really, really good brand. Really good quality. The material is great. You can even just tell. It's very, very smoothing. Really good material great color um so this one i like a lot if you're looking for a lot of push-up and more padding okay so this is that soma bra right here um it does have a thicker underwire so you can kind of see the outline with a more fitted top the one um like the one i'm wearing um but if you want to wear it with other blouses with other necklines where you need a strapless bra then this is still good if it's a little bit more on the looser side otherwise the first walk hole bra that i showed you i feel like is still the best one all right next up we're going into bras with straps so i still like bras with straps with push-up <laughs> so this first one is from soma i love this one so much because it reminds me of the strapless one the first one that i showed you from Wakol, um, except it is a bra with straps. So I love this very, very thin and minimal center right here. Okay, I literally just Googled this part, what it's called, and I believe it's called a bridge. So I'm gonna call it a bridge because it's gonna really bug me if I keep saying the center of the bra. So the bridge of the bra right here is super minimal. So again, this is something really nice because you can wear it with any type of neckline, a plunging V neckline, a halter, a racer back, all kinds. Um, so that's really nice. The only thing with this is that it is a strapless bra. It's not one of those convertible ones. So you're not able to take the straps off to make it strapless, obviously. But what I do love about what Soma did with their straps is that they put the adjustable parts in the front. Um, so it's super easy to adjust it without having to like take the whole bra off. The only thing is if you were wearing something tighter, you would see the outline. But I love that they came up with putting the adjustable part in the front. Doesn't like have any gaps as you see when I turn to the side. Um, so Victoria's Secret is a brand that I used to wear all the time when I was younger and I always had an issue with the gap between my boob and the bra. They would just be like hollow spacing and that would happen with a lot of my bras with them but I just would just wear it because I think a lot of us just automatically assume Victoria's Secret when you think of bras and so their bras are good and I still have and wear their bras for different occasions and different reasons but I don't have um, any to share with you guys just because sometimes I do still get that gap so this is why I like the bras that I like here that I'm showing you because they just fit really nicely um, and also when wearing bras um, you should be able to start from the middle of the clasp in the back um, and then once you start kind of reaching the end that means this part band right here is stretching out too much so it may be time for a new bra which I think some people recommend three to six months to change out your undergarments um, but yes this one is from Soma again really great brand love this for a good t-shirt bra bra with straps so here is what it looks like. I just threw on this t-shirt. Um, this t-shirt is from the line by K, which will also link all the tops that I am trying on along with these jeans in the description. Um, but this is just like a t-shirt, crop tee. I'm wearing that bra underneath it and it looks great. But then again, it's black. Um, so this is why I say do nude when it comes to undergarments, um, especially if you wear a lot of whites and lighter colors like I do. All right, next bra uh, is from Spanx. I have to say, if you're looking for comfort, if that's your number one thing, Spanx is the way to go. 
Okay, so this is a bra with straps and you can see there is no adjustable portion here on the straps. It's just a very seamless, stretchy um, strap. And pretty much this same material on the strap right here is all throughout the back. And it lays on the skin just so buttery and so smooth and just so comfortable and flexible. I can't even like describe it to you. What is also nice is that the clasp is in the front. It's very stretchy. So it stretches like super far. Like, do you see that? And it like doesn't dig in. This one is nice if you're looking for comfort and still the bridge is very minimal that you could wear this with like low cut v-necks and things like that. And I like this one too because it has a push up. All right, so here is that bra under this t-shirt. Very seamless, even more seamless than the first one. Um, and just again, can't even rave enough how comfortable. Okay, so lastly for bras with straps is this one. So this is by the brand Be Tempted, which is like the sister company of Wacol. Um, so I love Be Tempted as well. You should definitely check out Be Tempted, um, but this is just kind of like your very seamless and smooth everyday t-shirt bra. Um, so you can see how very, very seamless and smooth it is. Again, if you love comfort, this is super, super comfortable. No wires at all, so that's I think a part of the comfort um, level here that makes it that comfortable is that it just has whatever material they use <laughs> that's not wire. Um, and then the bridge is thick because again, it's just your everyday, more for wearing with like t-shirts. Only thing I don't like about this bra is that it is crisscross right here. But again, having crisscross straps allows you to feel like a very secure at the same time. So it's like a give or take. To me, I don't wear this bra much because of that. Um, but again, it is very comfortable and I just wanted to share it because it is such a good everyday bra and it's very comfortable, no underwires, and it's for you guys that are looking for that um, and just not any like frills and nothing fancy. And I'm pretty sure you guys can tell how seamless it would look under a t-shirt, so I don't think I need to show you guys. All right, so that is it for the strapless and strap bra portion. I am really quickly gonna go into maternity bras. So the two maternity bras that I absolutely loved throughout my pregnancy, number one was this one. This one is by Skims. So this is not a maternity bra that you would wear with a tight top. Um, number one, because do you see how it has these like frills right here or I don't know, ripples, I guess. This is just something that you wear when you're like at home, comfortable, maybe under a sweater, sweats, whatever, because anything too thin, you're gonna kind of see the outlines of these ripples. But again, that's what makes it super, super comfortable. Then it has right here, you just unclick, pull your boob out, and either pump or breastfeed. Um, and it is really, really easy the way that they designed it. And then again, they use this material that's super stretchy. Um, you can adjust the straps right here. And it's like a normal bra, the back has the three clasps. And then um, obviously nude is like their thing. So they have really great colors to choose from. So this one I liked just on my days at home, very comfortable. You can add like whatever um, nipple pads that you need to on here, the material's great, and you feel really secure. All right, so now my most favorite maternity bra of all time is this one right here from Spanx. Um, I love it for so many different reasons. Number one, it has that same like stretchy strap um, as the one I showed you for the strap bra that I was talking about. So I don't have to adjust anything. It doesn't dig into my shoulder or my skin. Um, you don't have to do the clasp on the back right here. You just kind of pull it over your head like a t-shirt. It's really, really easy. I like that the bridge over here, it's not super thick, but it's also not super thin. It's just like a crisscross. So it still works if you're gonna wear like lower cut tops, v-necks, what have you. I feel like this bra makes me feel like really nice and not like I'm a mom wearing a maternity bra, you know what I mean? Um, and the other nice thing is that they added cups so that it is seamless compared to the Skims one I showed you. That one is good, but this one is if you wanna wear a bra out with nicer items. It's gonna be more seamless, you're gonna have shape, you're gonna have form, you're gonna have structure and feel supported and not like droopy or what have you, you know what I mean? But the cups are removable. Then again, it has those same like click on or clip on straps where if you're ready to just like pump 
or breastfeed, you could just pull it down, click it back up. And it's just a really well-made maternity bra. I highly recommend it. If you're planning to have a kid, if you have a kid, if you're breastfeeding and you don't have this bra, oh my goodness, you're definitely missing out. Okay, so last but not least in this box are some little like pasty things. So for things that are backless, where you literally can't wear a bra, for anything you can't wear a bra with, um, I recommend using something like this. Um, so I got these on Amazon. They're by the brand B6 and it's nice. It comes in its own like little box. Um, so this is what they look like just like that they're reusable and you keep the plastic i keep the plastic at least um to stick them back on um and then you put them in a box so that they stay nice and like durable and you can reuse them um so i like these types of things over just like those like little flower petal stickers um i don't like those those you can see through them for whatever they're like paper like sometimes they're just not as good just don't use those things i mean you might be able to find some good ones and don't go crazy with the different shapes like flower shapes because a lot of times you can see the outline and like no one wants to see like a flower shape on your boob you know what i mean <laughs> i mean who cares maybe they do but whatever also the nice thing about these is that they have different colors so um go for the one that goes close to your skin tone i probably could have gotten like a darker color um but i didn't think they had my size which is why i went for this one but still nude so um yeah otherwise i think you could find tape where it can like pull your boob up if you're wanting like more cleavage um more of like a pushed up look for anything backless um it's a little too complicated for me um but then i mean if it's not then definitely go for that but this one can do it all i think okay next up i am going to share the underwear that i use literally every day under every thing it's the most comfortable most seamless I can't even like tell you um, but again it's from Spanx this underwear right here it's cotton it has that very stretchy like kind of material or it has like stretch to it um, so it's gonna be breathable um, it kind of has a little bit of like perforation all around it um, but it's so seamless you don't see it under the tightest of clothes so like um, a lot of people ask me what do you wear under your workout clothes because you know leggings workout leggings yoga pants they're so skin tight this is what I wear under that so the thing that also makes this underwear like the best underwear I've ever tried is that it doesn't dig in so I used to wear like thongs from like Victoria's Secret so if I were to wear like a tight dress or something like that a tight skirt you could still see that the underwear dug into my skin. You could see like a little, little tiny indent, but like, I don't even want the tiniest of indents. Like I don't want it to be seen. I want it to be seamless. I want it to look like I'm not wearing underwear, but I don't go that route. I don't not wear underwear. I always have to wear underwear. I don't go commando ever. So this is like your closest to going commando, um, but feeling secure, feeling comfortable. It's also like you can pull it up a lot higher which is nice. I think the problem is that a lot of other underwears sit too low, so it's digging into like, you know, a wider area, whereas you can pull this up higher where it's just sitting right. I don't even know how to explain it to you, but just try it. I think your life will be changed. <laughs> but this is by far my favorite, most favorite thong. And then if you don't use a thong, Spanx also makes like regular underwear and boy shorts. So I have the boy shorts for like, you know, sleeping, nighttime, whatever. But this is also that similar material except in like full coverage. So if you want full coverage like this, I have used this like postpartum with leggings and it's seamless at the same time. Even though it's full coverage, so comfortable. Um, you're not really going to find a boy short that's this seamless that you can wear with tight things. But... I'm telling you, they are the way to go. All right, and the next step, when it comes to compression things, so, you know, like being a new mom, you know, you have a baby, your skin stretches, there are things that you want to keep like tight and smooth and you want compression for certain areas or if you're not a new mom and you want that, I 
loves skims i shared with you guys the maternity bra that i use from them um, but i love their like shapewear so if you guys are looking for really good shapewear i like skims i also like spanx as well the nice thing though about skims is shapewear is that can you see this part right here it has the sticky part right here so if you're wearing something for shapewear that's like super super high-waisted it has that sticky thing so it's going to stay put the only problem with Spanx that I find um, with their shapewear is that it tends to fall and you're having to constantly put pick it up. Um, and do you see how nice and tiny this thing is? So it really, really sucks you in. And it's nice because it makes it looser around your butt area. So if you like have a butt, it's not going to like flatten it out. You know what I mean? Um, but it just kind of compresses you in all the right areas and smoothens it. So like the side of your leg here, your tummy area. If you want to wear any type of dress with like a high slit, but you still want compression or smoothing, Skims has shapewear for dresses and skirts with slits um, that still give you that smoothing effect for the other leg that the slit's not at. Um, so they have kind of like the solution for a lot of this type of shapewear that you need. Um, so this is like the full on like tummy and thigh kind of compression underwear. And then this one is more if you don't need the leg part, but you just want kind of like this vicinity. So I will link it all. And then of course with skims, you have so many great new colors to choose from. I got this one because it's like super close to my skin tone. And I like how this part right here is also very just like smooth and seamless. And then lastly, I really like this thong from Spanx um, because it is a thong. So if you don't need anything more full coverage, um, then this one's great because it compresses you right here. Um, and then it's also your underwear with the thong. And it's also like super thin and seamless um, at the edges right here. And then it does have this part right here, but I feel like this Skims one holds up a little bit better, but this is still not bad. Um, but these are just some nice things to have. You're always gonna kind of have like that special occasion where you might need something like this. So I feel like Skims and Sminx does a really good job. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Be sure to check out the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, please don't leave here without subscribing. Also hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time I put out a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and also let me know if you guys are going to purchase any of these items. I would love to know which one you are going to get and how you're loving it. Um, and if you want me to kind of like do this updated, maybe every couple months or so, then let me know that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found it useful. I will see you in my next video.